Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. So this video tutorial is very very important. I mean this is a very important video tutorial. And let me tell you why it is important. That is, uh, first of all, let's come here and from here you can simply remove, uninstall the app. I mean the social networking app which we call a poster app. So you can simply remove the social network app. I mean uninstall this app. Okay, click OK and once you uninstall this app and then you then you go to the Android studio and run the app when you run the app from here then your app will crash okay and there is a reason behind that so we have to I mean there is a small bug because of that bug our app crashes because we haven't add uh, one validations this is not basically a bug but there is a validation to our firebase database okay so this error will also occur i mean the one type is that is if you uninstall the app then you basically log out i mean uh, you basically the app basically log you out from the app and it is basically uninstalled from your mobile phone device and also if you are using the app if you do not uninstall it then you simply click on the logout button and uh, the app will crash i mean it will log you out but the app will crash it is just because of the firebase validations i mean we haven't uh, add validation when we were retrieving the profile image and the user image for our navigation header on and also on our setup activity when we were displaying the profile image so this video video tutorial is very important so here uh, you can see that on our main activity first of all go to the main activity and when we retrieve the you can see that we have this navigation header okay then we have a navigation profile image then navigation profile uh, username okay this is basically the header which we include on our main activity and for that we just by using the user reference and the current user id we are basically uh, displaying the full name of a user and the profile image of a user on the navigation header so basically uh, the error i mean the app crash that is because we haven't add here i mean uh, a validation that is uh, if let's say if you log out from your app or if you uh, uninstall the app and then you uh, run the app i mean reinstall the app inside your mobile phone then basically uh, it has to check first that is either the full name or profile image exists or not inside the firebase database so for doing that what we're going to do that is here inside this if data snapshot dot exist inside this if statement we are going to add another if statement and this if statement will basically check for the profile image so that so here we can say if data snapshot dot has child and the child will be this one which is the first one we will check for the username so here we can say if the data snapshot dot has child that is if the user node has this full name i mean if the full name exists inside the firebase database for the user who are currently online then we are going to display the full name of a user so you can simply cut this full name from here control x and paste that inside here and once it is successful then we are going to cut this full name from here and we will display it inside here this first if statement i mean the second if statement which uh, where we check for the full name okay so make sure to use the same name which are inside our firebase database so you can see that okay and the second thing is that we will check for the profile image so here we can say if data snapshot dot has child and this time we are going to check for the profile image so we can say if this exists then we are going to display the profile image of a user on the navigation header so we can cut this picasso 2 from here and then we are going to paste it inside this third if statement so in this way 
we have successfully added the validations for displaying the full name and the profile image of an online user on the navigation header or uh, now the next thing is to add a else statement that is in case if there is no profile image or full name of a user then we are going to display basically a toast message and we will tell the user that is profile profile name profile name do not exist name do not exists that's it and yeah that's it and now the next thing is we have successfully added the validation on our main activity so make sure to do it uh, as i did here okay and make sure to use the same name here which we were using uh, inside our firebase database and the next thing is to go to the setup activity and we have to do the same here when we were uh, retrieving the the profile image and when we display it on the on the setup activity on the image view if you remembered okay that is this one which is user ref dot add value event listener we were basically here displaying the uh, profile image of a user so here we can do the same so what we gonna do that is here inside this if data snapshot exists inside this we can add another if statement and here we can say if data snapshot dot has child and we are basically going to check for the profile image because here we are just retrieving the profile image so that's why we are we just here here we can simply check for the profile image and if the profile image exists then we are going to cut this line from here i mean we are going to retrieve the profile image from the database and we will store it inside this image and then we will display it on that image view on our setup activity so that's it and now if the image not exists then we are going to just display a toast message to the user and we will tell the user please select profile image first that's it and now the next thing is just uh, from here uh, you can simply go to the manifest okay we have this manifest and inside this manifest we have android manifest.xml file so go to the android manifest.xml file and here inside this android manifest.xml file you can uh, you can see that we have this main activity and when our app starts then our app uh, then the app basically starts from the main activity okay this intent filter means that okay so you can simply Cut this intent filter, okay. Select this intent filter, uh, whole, okay. Con uh, control X, cut this intent filter from here. And now, here you can see that we have this login activity. So we can simply close this here like that, and you can see that activity is closed like that. And now you can see this is our login activity. And now, inside this login activity, you can simply pass that intent. Once you pass that intent here, then yeah everything is okay everything is okay and our app will now start from the login activity and if you remember we have added our own start method on our login activity which basically check for the user i mean that is if the user is logging then it will basically send the user directly if we start our app then our app will basically directly send the user to the main activity Okay, in the previous few tutorials when we were uh, working on our two-step verification for this social networking app. So now we are ready to run the app. So now let's test our app if it, if it is working or not. So our app is running now successfully. And so now let's log in from here. And we will check it now completely. I mean for the first we are going to check it for the login. So we can say Alan. and then password and now let's click login so you can see that the login is working successfully and if i come here then the picture is displaying successfully this is the Elon musk profile which we created in the earlier video tutorial now if we log out from here now let's 
you can see we are now on the login activity now let's create an account first and uh, let's uh, create another account so that we can check that either it is working or not so let me create an, another account by my own email address okay at the red gmail.com then we have password then let me confirm the password and now let's create account so we are authenticated successfully now from here I will select a profile image so let me select it so from here I will crop this image first So you can see it says please wait and my profile image is appeared here now here I will write my username and my username is this and my full name is Muhammad Ali and then my country let's say USA click save and it says your account is created successfully if I come here then you can see that this is my profile picture and this is my name Muhammad Ali and now let's say I'm going to close the app okay so I will close the app and now let's uh, run the app again so you can see that it will send us to the main activity because we I haven't logged in I mean lo I don't click on the logout button before closing the app or if I let's say minimize the app and uh, I mean let me let me run the app again if I run the app again then it will send me directly to the main activity instead uh, instead of sending me to the login activity because as I told you that I do not log out I mean I do not press the logout button so once you click on the logout button then it will it will log you out from the school social networking app so in this way we have successfully air completed all the validations finally I mean now your app will not crash and it will work fine so yeah this is it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel and let me tell you that in the next video tutorial I mean from the next video tutorial we will start working on our post activity we will allow the user to post inside this social networking app I mean they will post their images and status just like that like you guys see on the social networking website Facebook Twitter snapchat Instagram your people update their post and upload their pictures and stuff like that so yeah we will do it in the next video tutorial so this is it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now